Hey, welcome back to another episode here. We're getting the car, putting a new tune on the car and getting it ready for the track event Friday. It's Tuesday, October 27th. And what we're working on today, get outside here, Let's go out for a little test drive before we put on the slicks and such. And we're just gonna get some baselines in and then we're gonna try some of this stuff and see how it looks before and after for logs, so come along. Okay, we're pulled over here and we got a quite, we got one log in. Now what's tough about this boosting stuff is the app is only for Apple products, which I have an Android, so. I've got about five gallons of gas inks, it's ready for the track mode. So if we were to, say, target 100 to 102 octane, and I'm really doing this for the nitrous, I mean, I'm gonna really have to put the screws with the timing to pick up power NA. But if we're going to shoot for, say, um, you know, roughly 15 gallons, 16 ounces. So to go from 93 to 100, you're looking at a little bit over one ounce per gallon. So that's pretty much what I'm going to target is one ounce per gallon. You can see here this is about a half an ounce per gallon, a little bit, a little bit more than that if you do the math. So if I target about three quarters of an ounce per gallon or so, I will end up right around 99 to 100 octane, which is plenty. All right, so we're just driving a little bit to mix it up here. And then we'll just do another quick pull in Mexico. We've got about five gallons of gas, put about seven ounces in, and then we will just, uh, do some comparison and really this is just trying to buy some insurance at the track you can see I've got a lean cruise going on the tune uh, of course but that way when we it's heads cam it fat ported fast 102 uh, all the bolt-ons and uh, 100, 100, 100 shot pills in it so off the bottle 470 to 500 ish is probably the range I haven't downed it yet with the new intake, it made 445 on a doorman. Since then, I've added a four inch speed density. I've changed out the long tubes to something, something slightly larger. And I went to a ported fast 102 and I ported 90 millimeter throttle body versus a semi ported doorman LS2. So that should have gained some. We'll know come Friday. This is really just for insurance. I don't have to try to run race gas uh, with the 100 shot of nitrous. Alright, so we're back at the house here and we're going to go over a few of the logs and do a review. So this is the first log pre boosting pull and I've got some numbers to spread the difference. I've also got the second log up right here. So we'll just kind of run this guy here. So you can th see pretty solid acceleration, a little bit of wandering of the air fuel, but overall pretty good stated numbers. Now one thing to look at and disc you can potentially discredit is the calculated horsepower is based off loosely off a of dynamic airflow. It's a little bit high. You can see that my commanded feels a little bit rich, so I've got a little bit of tweaking still to do in the tune. But what we're really looking here is we're looking at curves. We're looking at a nice solid power curve, flat torque curve, no knock retard, steady RPM, steady mile an hour increase, and, and so on. On the other pole, this is with the boostane. It's the same thing. Pretty steady, pretty linear. I actually picked up just a little bit of knock retard right here. It's obviously false knock. I uh, picked up a little bit of noise, but that did pull back some timing. So let's do some comparison of them. I like to use a program called Virtual Dyno. Uh, this is a program I've been using for years. Brad Barnhill is the one that put it together. A shout out to him on that. And again, you can see. You can manipulate the data to be anything you want to be. I know the car weighs about 3,500 pounds or so um, in its current state, and this isn't PSI, this is actually timing. I don't have the air fuel converted because I'm not really concerned about that right now. And it's the same exact scenario for the gears. So directionally accurate numbers. I don't put too much stock in this here, but we can see a few things. Is The red is the boostane curve, and you can see it's, it's gaining everywhere. It's gaining everywhere. And just to validate the numbers, um, this is probably a depression in the road. 
and this is probably a incline change in the road. However, it, it climbs up both ways. So when you're validating numbers, you're looking for averages and did it make gains? So this is looking like roughly 9, 10 horsepower or 2% or so. And then we can kind of back in the numbers here. So by taking the HP Tuner's timestamps, which for those of you that aren't familiar with this software, you get a timestamp at the bottom here. You can see pre-boostane 57 to 113 took about 7.7 .7 seconds. Or sorry, 7.7 .7 miles per hour per second. It took 7.24 seconds to elapse the time. With boostane, we essentially saw uh, about two tenths of a second drop or 3% improvement. So, considering both these roads are relatively flat, boostane looks like on this setup, without even impacting the timing, gained roughly 2 to 3% horsepower, which is fair. On a 470 horsepower setup, uh, conservative estimate, 9 or 10 horsepower. All the numbers do check out. Uh, seat of the pants, you could barely notice a difference. Um, car did sound just a little bit cleaner, but when you're pushing the envelope and you're pushing towards, uh, I want to try to get a 1099 out of this car without the nitrous, and I think it's really close. This might just be what I need to get over the edge. And again, based on the video, if you remember, it's going to be about 101 octane should give me plenty of headroom for a hundred shot on top of this and they'll get me well into the tens. So in the end, I'm gonna say that boostane does appear to work. Um, marginal increase on a naturally aspirated setup. Again, this is a 11.3 to one compression motor, uh, 228, 232 TSP cam, PRC heads, they're down to 60 cc chambers. That's how I'm at about 11.3 to one. Uh, for those of you that are trying to check the, the math, my cranking compression is well over 220. DCR is about 8.7 or so. So pretty hot setup for pump gas. Last time I was at the track, I had some knocking on 93 octane and anything over 23 degrees of timing. We'll see how Friday goes. So stay tuned for an update from the track in a few days. Hopefully you found this informative. Thanks.